anti-establishment, but he's done everything like an established politician would do, including getting loans. I don't know how he could be anti-establishment. His wife works for one of the uh, big banks. Yeah, and, that's, and that's the bank that gave him a loan. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, no preferential treatment there, I hope. Well, look, like I said, uh, we had the Democratic debate yesterday, and Hillary started to uh, land some heavy blows. Um, you know, uh, Bernie yeah. said he wants to keep it clean. He uh, well, He's being a perfect gentleman about the whole thing. Um, Hillary seems to say she can be a moderate on some things and a progressive on the others, and Bernie said that's not being true to yourself. You yeah. know, um, but all in all, you know, the one thing you got to say, the Democratic debates are always about substance. They're not about, you know, they're, they're not throwing slurs at each other the way the Republicans do. You know, yeah. the Republicans spend most of their time criticizing each other and saying mm. nothing. <coughs> Except when you Hillary know? was uh, giving uh, what's Bernie a hard time and the uh, crowd was booing her. Yeah, I did hear that. You know, I forgot exactly what, what it was. You know, I, I watched it twice, actually. So, uh, but I did hear that. But she did get quite a few, you know, uh, rounds of applause for oh, certain yeah. things that she said. Of so, course, uh, but I'm just saying, I was surprised that they boo. You know, there really was like boos and sneers. I was surprised. She well, said something it just goes to show you how uh, into the uh, primary the uh, crowd was. Yeah, well, you she know? said something about Bernie, But then Bernie, again, like the Republican, you know, if you remember, like the earlier Republican uh, debates, there were boos there, too. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, but uh, she's such a lady, though. That's the difference. Well, you know, I, think be I think because she said a few things that really were like hitting below the belt, okay, yeah. about Bernie. You know, that's exactly what I was trying to bring out before. And the crowd didn't appreciate it, you know. But, uh, you know, look, you know, I, I understand. Um, I didn't know what, but they, they said Bernie did say some things that ticked her off. And what she he said. Did. He did. Well, I don't he know did what the. Didn't. He did, but I don't know what it was. And, you know, she started saying stick to the topic, stop with the. Uh, all this, you know, dirty play and all that to him, and I don't know what it was about, though. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, and then, like I said, tomorrow is the uh, final Republican debate on ABC. Ooh, ABC, you know, uh, huh? On ABC, Channel you know, 7. I know. Who are the moderators? Do we know yet? Uh, da David Muir and Martha Raddatz. Oh, Okay. I don't know. I think I know Martha Raddatz did it the last time, and I think George Stephanopoulos did it the last time for the Republicans. This time, David Muir is doing it. Yeah. Hopefully, it'll be an uh, interesting one. So oh, I'm they, sure. You know, uh, are they going to uh, have? A, are they going to have two tiers, or just where everybody's going to be in one now? No, no, it's only one because uh, Fiorina is not uh, going to be. She, she's the only one left. She's Chris, not going to be by herself, and they, they so far they're not putting her on the stage. From what Chris, I understand, Christie's on. Uh, Christie's not on the bottom anymore. Christie hasn't been on the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's at like two percent. That's been that's been enough to keep you on top. I believe there are seven people. I'm not sure. I haven't counted. But, uh... Well, uh, that's pretty easy. Carson, Cruz, Trump. Trump is three. Kasich is four. Okay, uh, Rubio is five. Um, Bush. Bush is six. Christie. So... And Christie is seven. That's it. That's it. Yep. I liked it once. I, I actually I didn't mind Ron Paul that much. Once in a while he came with some good remarks. Oh no! Well, he, did say, 
No, but we he did have about... some good things to say, yeah. but don't forget he's also up for re-election in yeah. the Senate. And that's what he so, said. He, uh, he wants to make sure he was a concentrator. All right. Yeah, exactly. How about what's his name? The guy from Ohio. What the hell's his name? John Kasich. Did we include him? Yeah, we, yeah sure we did. Oh, okay. You know, he seems to be, as far as I'm concerned, he seems to be, other than Bush, okay, um, he seems to be the only other person who is, rel- well, let's put it this way, Kasich is, his, his rhetoric is moderate, okay, he claims to be a conservative, and it very well might be, but uh, the bottom line is he, uh, he's been a governor, he's been in Congress, uh, he's worked on budgets. He's managed people, you know. Yeah, so, he seems to uh, have good qualifications. Yeah, he does. But you know, he, it's he, just a matter of is anybody listening out there? You know, yeah, you know he, they, he they, has, people may be listening to you know the bullying of Christie or Cruz or Trump, you know, and ignoring people like Jeb. Jeb Bush or uh, John Kasich. Well, you you know, know? They, they, they may be a little too quiet and not enough spark in, the, in them to do anything. I don't know. Well, when you talk about spark, that's exactly what Ben Carson certainly doesn't have. Yeah. I mean, he it's like he's sleeping up there on, on, on the podium, you know? Yeah, it's true. But I... I don't know. You know, uh... I mean, we, you know, you're a, a liberal, right? That's not a progressive, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Now, what do you, what do yep. you take a conservative to mean? Well, I don't know. What do you think a conservative is? Well, technically, conservatives are ones that that follow the uh, the Constitution. Well, I don't know. Obama was a constitutional professor. And uh, he's not a conservative, so I don't no, know how you can say that. Mean, you know? No, it doesn't mean that his politics, he doesn't follow the Constitution. Well, that's the biggest thing about them. They you know, they follow the Constitution to the, you know, more or less to the word. And, uh, you know, they don't agree with putting in more, more amendments. You know, no, I think, I think conservatives have, in my, my point of view, conservatives are... Uh, a combination of neocons, people who uh, want the United States to be involved in every war all over the world. They're very, uh, they're very much pro-business well, and uh, anti-common man, middle class. Not at all. You know. Think about it. This is this is supposed to be a a capitalist country. That's where it was formed. All right. No. Capitalist is business. The Constitution was pro business, basically. You have certain. Uh, not, no, I look. A, a conservative is any anything you want to call it. Let's put it that way. We we disagree. Okay, you could believe what you believe. I believe what I believe. All right. Okay. Conservatives want. Low taxes for business, but they want to put the burden on the middle class. Okay? Mm. Conservatives don't want to raise the uh, minimum wage. Trump says that the wages are too high as it is. So you tell me. Well, All right? I, I am going to read to you the definition of what a true conservative is. Let's say all these guys are conservatives or not. But it's... a uh, it's a little different than what you think and what I think. Okay. And as soon as I find something, conservative may not be a Republican, by the way. No, there are conservative Democrats. Okay. Let's go by Wikipedia. I haven't read it myself. Okay, conservatism as a political and social philosophy promotes retaining traditional social institutions 
in the context of culture and civilization. Some so what does that mean? That says nothing. Yes, yeah, some conservatives seek <clears throat> to preserve things as they are, emphasizing stability and continuity, while others called reactionaries oppose modern modernism and seek to return to the way things were. Oh, that hasn't said anything so far, has it? See, to me, that's just a bunch of double talk. Well, this is from Wikipedia, so... Let me see if there's another better one than that. Well, Jay, what, you want to read the... Uh, what it is, uh, what you are? Well, I, all I know is that Republicans basically are anti-union, okay? Um, they're pro-management, anti-union, okay? Um, that, that's a big difference between them and the Democratic Party, certainly. Yeah, if anybody would like to call in, uh, 336-8510 and uh, discuss area some of this with us. 516 area codes. We can't forget that. That's true. What else is going right. on? Let me see. That's the whole point. It's really hard to say what a conservative is. Most people say that uh, none of the Republicans are conservatives. Well, you know, uh, they, they like to say that, uh, you know, when they, when they, when they uh, pick on Trump, you know, they like to say that he has democratic values. And, and, and Trump likes to say, well, look, you know, I was born and bred in New York. I, I'm a New Yorker. That's where Cruz got into trouble for calling him uh, his, his New York values, you know, um, Yeah. Certainly out of left field, but I mean, you know, Trump has, has backed uh, liberal causes in the past. It just so happens that now he's running on the Republican, for the Republican nomination. And uh, he's all of a sudden, uh, as they say, uh, you know, changing his tune a little bit. All right, here and, we go. Uh, I got a good one for us to read now. Conservatives believe in personal responsibility, limited government, free markets, individual liberty, traditional American values, and a strong national defense. Believe the role of the government should be to provide people the freedom necessary to pursue their own goals. Conservative policies generally emphasize empowerment of the individual to solve problems. Now let's go read what they say about liberals. Well, that's perfect because uh, that's a perfect definition because, you know, uh, liberals and progressives would like I'm gonna more read government, what, uh, I'm gonna say more what government they, involvement. Well, that's not the concept. That's against the Constitution. Liberals believe in government action to achieve equal opportunity and equality for all. It is a duty of the government to alleviate social ills and to protect civil liberties and individual human rights. Believe I don't know why you keep pointing to the Constitution. The Constitution has absolutely nothing to do with this. Constitution tells you a lot. The small government, limited government, that we've taken away the right. A lot of the, what the Constitution has said. It's very Constitution is very pro small government, limited government. Well, liberals are generally emphasized. Look, the when the Constitution was written, you had no government practically. You had 13 colonies, and that was it. Okay? They talk about a militia, that everybody's a militiaman. That's why they talk about the Second Amendment rights to hold to bear arms. But you have a National Guard in every state, and you have an armed forces. So you really don't need to have everybody own a gun. But according to the Constitution, if you want to, uh, you know, delve into the, the definition, then everybody has a right to own a gun. And the, the